Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a meter developer badge. So for starters you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled, if Explorer and Properties are not enabled you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties and they should pop up somewhere over your screen. You then want to click back on the Home button and then we want to go over to our Explorer, find Service Script Service and then we want to click on the plus button next to our Service Script Service and insert a script. So now that we've inserted the script inside Service Script Service, we want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of the script in Service Script Service, we want to go and adjust a couple of things. So on here where it says local developer IDs, we want to go and change this ID to our Roblox profile ID. We have now also made it so you can add multiple developers. So let's say I have a team, a developer team of three people. I can put three people's IDs right there. Let's go get our profile ID. So you're probably wondering, how do I actually get my profile ID? So you want to go to your profile or the, any other user profile that you want, which will be classified as a developer. And if a player joins into the game, they'll be given that badge. So now that you've found your profile, you now want to head over to the top link here and where it says roblox.com slash users slash this big bunch of numbers, this is our profile ID. We want to go and copy this ID and then we want to take it back to Roblox Studio. As you guys can see, we're now back in Roblox Studio and now we want to go and change this ID to our profile ID. Now let's say you had maybe two or three developers, all you want to do, you just want to go and click enter and then you want to go right and paste in their ID same again, enter and paste in their ID, but because these are my same IDs, it will not work. So you want to go and put in different IDs if you have multiple different developers. Now we want to head over to line six where it says local badge equals. Basically we are identifying on what badge equals. So badge equals this ID. So we want to go and change this ID to whatever our badge ID is. If you haven't already created a badge, you want to head over here, go to your main Roblox game on the main Roblox page, click on the three dots up here, and click on configure this experience. We then wanna go over to associated items and then we can choose from badges, passes and developer products, but we are wanting to go and create a badge. So we wanna click on create a badge. You now wanna go and upload an image. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be using some random image. You now want to go and choose a name. So for this tutorial, we can go and do you met a developer because basically the player must meet a developer to be able to get this badge. So we'll just do, you met a developer and you can add a bit of a description saying, you were awarded this badge because you met a game developer. But once you've gone and done that, you wanna go and click on create badge. Now that you've created your badge, you'll be able to see that it is currently active. And as you guys can see, the image has not shown just yet because it is going to be approved by Roblox before it is shown. But we wanna go click on the three dots up here. It's extremely hard to see because it's got a bit of a white background and it is white dots. So we wanna go and kind of click over here and click on copy asset ID. Basically, we are now copying the badge ID. We now want to go back into the script into Roblox Studio and we wanna go change our local badge equals. We wanna go and change this ID to our new badge ID. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you wanna go up here, click on the X button next to script. Then you wanna go over to file and click publish to Roblox. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate with my alt account. Now, if I join in my main Roblox profile, I'll be rewarded the badge. As you guys can see, it's underscore floppy fish join the game and I have received you met a developer badge. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.